Hello coders, welcome to Deopart School. I hope everyone is doing well. Are you trying to switch from any other framework to React Native? Are you already React Native developer and you want to improve your skill by using React Native? Do you want to learn React Native from scratch but not sure where to start? You have come to right place. Previously, when we were trying to create an Android application, we were using Java and Kotlin. For iOS application, we were using Swift. And for web application, there are multiple languages like PHP was there, .NET was there, C, C++, Ruby, so many numbers of languages. Suppose your company wants to create one application and deploy the same concept in different platforms. Suppose you want to create an Android application as well, iOS application as well. You need to create Android TV application as well. You need to create web application as well. So building that much applications is so much efforts, right? As a current growing industry, efforts should be minimized and time should be saved. Developers should be more focused on the logic and functionalities instead of studying different languages. Considering this situation, Facebook launched React Native. You can create one application and React Native will give you different builds for different platforms like Android, iOS, Apple TV and website as well. Isn't that great? Today, we will discuss about where exactly you should start your learning and steps to become a pro developer in React Native. If you follow these steps, I ensure you that you will get placed into the top organization with higher package. Very soon, I am going to launch one playlist on mastering in React Native. So I suggest that don't skip anything, watch this video till end. So without wasting any time, let's get started. As a front-end developer, you must know some basic HTML, CSS and designing concepts. While interacting with UI, implementation of logic and functionality is very important. That part is taken care by JavaScript. So basic knowledge of JavaScript function and scope is very important. You should study that. In JavaScript has implemented some very important features into ES6. Arrow functions, constructor, destructor, then classes, modules. All of these features are implemented in ES6. So you should study that to make any data type specific. TypeScript is implemented. Implementing OOPS concept within a JavaScript is possible by TypeScript. Later on, many frameworks are built based on the TypeScript. So you should study TypeScript as well. React Native is totally using the React library. So basic knowledge of React is very important. Also, React is built on JavaScript and TypeScript as well. So you can choose based on your understanding. Some basic concept of React, you should know how to implement component, what are the hooks, how do we store properties into the ReactJS? How do we call an API? How do we render the data? One more important topic is state management. How do we maintain the session into the React? That all things you should learn. We all know that properly managed backend functionalities is very important. Similarly, when you are handing your application to the user, UI and look and feel of the application is also very important. Users should easily handle the application. Design should be very interactive. Then properly margin should be set, proper heading should be given, you should give nice animation as well. In short, you need to learn styling into the ReactJS. After that, you need to study how do we navigate from one component to another component by using routing. So routing is also very important. You should also understand what is the eagerly loading and what is the lazy loading. Lazy loading is also one of the important concepts. You should study that by using lazy loading speed of your application is improved. Once you're done with the routing, Go for the Redux. Redux is often used to manage the global states into your application. It is not limited to React only. You can use Redux in any JavaScript frameworks. Well, any application we are developing into the front end, calling the data through API is must. You can use page method that is by default available with the JavaScript or XOS is the third party library that also you can use. Sending messages or particular types of alerts are possible using push notifications. Even if user is not actively using the application, user can get message via notification. Once you're done with that, since React Native deals with the mobile applications as well, you need to learn different types of interaction with the user interface. You need to see how gestures are used into the application. You need to see how swiping and scrolling works, how taps are work. You need to learn some animation into the React Native. You also need to see how do we access some basic features of the mobile phone like camera, location and all the stuff. Security plays major role in any application. So when you are using the application, maintaining the station starting from the user login to the logout is very important. You need to learn how do we give user specific access to component. It is also very important. Then moving ahead to storage. To maintain the session, you need to store auth token and other session variable into 
client side well react native provides a sync storage for that you can use that instead of local storage if you want to store larger data and for more time you can use sql lite as well once you learn all of this stuff testing of our application is very important well, manual testing is also part of the testing, but for the larger scale application, doing manual testing again and again is not possible. For that, we use automation testing. You should learn how do we use JS framework for that. By using JS framework, we apply testing at the method level. You can learn component testing as well, E2E testing as well, okay? Then performance optimization. Once you build one whole application, the response time of the application should be minimum. Faster the application user will like your application. So improving the performance is very essential. You can improve your performance by using lazy loading. You can optimize your image size. You can properly manage your database. Properly indexing should be there. Okay. That all included into the performance optimization. There are some advanced concepts which you apply at the server side as well. There is a gzip compression, caching and all. You should go through all of these topics. Native models. By using React Native, we can build our application for different platforms, right? We can build Android APK as well. We can build iOS as well. Even for the website, we can build the web application. All of this possible by using React Native models. You should study that as well. Once you're done with the building of your application, you need to learn how do we deploy that onto some server. Suppose you are using the web application, you can deploy that on some particular web server. If you're using Android APK, you should see how do we deploy that on Play Store or Apple TV Play Store, okay? Suppose you are using iOS, you need to see how do we deploy that onto the Apple Play Store, okay? One very important thing is that don't just study theoretical part. Take one real life example and build one application for that. You can choose any general topic like school management, ticketing system, appointment booking system you can take and build one proper application by using React Native. Once you're done with the creating project, you will get hands on into the React Native. You will also learn how do we debug the application and tackle if any issue occur into your application. After that, you can study top interview questions and answer for React Native. Don't worry, I'm going to give link for interview preparation in the description as well. Well, preparation can increase your chance to getting selected and get a good package. Yeah, that's it for today's video. If you're having any doubt, please let us know in the comment section and we will try to resolve that as soon as possible. If you like our video, please share with your friends and colleagues. As I told before, we are going to launch our new series on mastering in React Native. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell icon so that whenever we are uploading new video, you will get the notification for that. Also join our telegram group. QR code is visible on the screen. Link is also provided into description. We are going to share all new resources, interview tips and tricks and all of our new updates over there. We will meet in the next video. Till then, happy coding.